In this lesson, I am going to give an overview on what to expect in the drawing competency questions on the CSWA certification exam. On the exam, you will be given three drawing questions worth five points each, while these three questions of the 14 question exam are worth the least. These are considered easy questions, and it is imperative you answer these correctly for the 15 points. All three questions will be multiple choice. For example, you will be shown an image and asked which SolidWorks drawing tool would be used to create it. Let's go to the next screen and take a look at an example shown in the CSWA sample exam provided by SolidWorks. As you can see, you will be given a couple views and asked which drawing tool would be used to create it. In this example, the correct answer is letter B, cropped view. As you are completing these questions on the CSWA certification exam, here's a couple tips to keep in mind. In SolidWorks, open any part or assembly and go into the drawing environment. Once in the drawing environment, select the view layout tab. This ribbon consists of each type of drawing view. And notice the graphics on each tool is very descriptive. So many times you can look at the view presented to you in the CSWA certification exam and look at these graphics and tell which type of view it is. So this may be a real easy way to find the correct answer. If not, let's assume you are looking at a view on the exam and you believe it's a section view. Go ahead and select section view. In the upper right hand corner of the property manager, you'll see a question mark. Go ahead and select the question mark. The help screen opens and you will be given a couple examples of that type of drawing view. What we covered up until this point is minimal preparation for the drawing competency portion of the exam. I personally believe the best way to gain a full understanding of each drawing tool is to get hands-on experience by working through each of them. In the following lessons, you will do exactly that. You will learn about auxiliary, detail, and cropped views, to name a few, by doing hands-on exercises. So I encourage you to work through each lesson to gain a complete understanding of the drawing tools provided in SolidWorks.